Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we will be doing the part 2 slash booting part 2 of my Lego Bionicle Transformers Dinatron. So, let's get into it. But real quick, I like have him on this phone stand of mine. It's, like the, um, it's this. It's literally supposed to be like this, but I like, just put it forward. And it's like a chair. So it's like a cool like, sitting position for him. Oh no, that'd be cool, like, starting the video like this, in, like, a non-standing pose. So, yeah, let's get into it. This build will be split up into four parts. The legs, the right arm, the left arm, and the body. The body will be the most complex, so, like, because of all the backpack edge and whatnot. So, probably start off with the arms and the legs and then the body, so, yeah. We'll be starting off with the dino neck slash arm these are the parts you will need to build the dino head feel free to pause the video to collect all of them all right so to start off we'll build the neck and then put all the armor on so we'll start with this piece it is the... why is the back of my camera focused i want to focus the closer image it literally will only focus focus on the back i have to tap it so what okay fine we'll just let me just have it it'll be blurry but i'm not tapping it every five seconds but yeah we'll start off with this piece right I, sorry i keep dropping it over and we'll start off with this piece take this one and peg it in right, right there in this orientation then just put that down and then to build the like inside of the mouse We'll take this piece and then take this and it's connected by a three long axle and just push through until you connect to both of them like that. Then take this piece and pick that on there and then take the little red axle and then pick that on there and then just connect this like so there we have like the skeleton for the neck and then take this and take one of the black tooth pieces and just pick that there and pick the remaining two right on there like that then take this piece and pick that in here and take this piece and clip it underneath like that then take this piece and clip it this way i think then take this piece and clip it like that there you have the dino arm fully assembled I'm trying to make i have to put in the back so it's focused on the back of it it's like weird my phone is acting weird but yeah <sighs> on to the next piece so the piece that you will need for the tail arm is 10 of the chest uh, pieces uh, five of these pieces it's fine focusing on the front and then five of these pieces and what you want to do is starting with one of these just do a alternating chain of every single piece like so and it makes it quite long as you've seen in the earlier parts of the video and my past video for Dinatron and once you just have it all extended and built. What I like to do is whatever pieces I have, I start with the lightest color. So I'll put all the white ones on. And then just go to the dark colors. And just pick all of them on. Like so. Then once you get to the end of the chain, you are done with detail so that is detail for you and for dinatron so yeah 
tail is really simple. It's just really long. Underside. Top side. So, yeah. Let's do the legs. So, leg. these are the pieces you will need to build the legs. You will need two of everything. I just have the other leg kept together for demonstration purposes. And then, so, you want for the foot, you want to take the two sized feet and peg them together there. Then take the red axle and just peg it in on both sides. They're not both sides, just to cover it on both sides, like that. And, oops. Yes, I have the foot like that. Then take this piece, place it on the bigger foot support joint. So take this piece and fold that there. Then so take the per the smaller one. I use purple because purple is a cool color. Then take the white pieces and pick it on like that. Take this piece and the last arm piece and just put it on the top ball joint of the leg. There you have your legs are done. So now time for the com most complicated part, the body. So let's get to it. So I actually decided to split the torso section up into smaller pieces. So this is the main torso with the arm connections. The, uh, these black assembly pieces and then the red, the last of it with the dino arms on it. So yeah, we'll start with these, go to this, and then go to that. So let's go. So these are all the pieces you will need. I'll let you, I'll pause the video to let you collect them. So yeah, you will only need one of these. Everything else you'll need two of. So start off, take these smaller ball joint pieces and connect them, and then take the larger one and connect that as well. Then take the armor piece and put that there. Then take the little like axle ball joint connector, put that there at the very end. Then just put this on this side. Either one or on this side, and they'll just be like this, and like this. It doesn't really matter, just when you put it, just make sure the axles are facing, it's facing the other one. So, yeah, that's it. Let's move on to the dino arm section. So, once again, double all these pieces up except for the red axle. And just a reminder, same with these pieces. Make sure whenever we're putting it together, make sure the axles are fit, or make sure everything is in the right orientation and make sure the axle is facing the inside to each piece. So, assembly is to take this piece and the little, like, finger tooth, like, I don't, I don't know what it's called, this, this, this one, peg that on like that, and then take one of these and peg that to there. And then take this, pick it there. I'm basically just mirroring this. So if you want a good image of this, then you can just mirror it and skip ahead of the video. So yeah, just take this and then take one of these, pick that there. Take this piece, pick it here. Then take this one, pick it there. Take this, fold it down and take that there and that there. So yeah, if you skipped ahead, cool. We don't waste as much time. If you didn't, that's just fine. But yeah, so now you got the dino arms and the rest of the backpack done. Now I have to move on to the actual torso. Let's go. So these are all the pieces you will need for the torso area. And also, if you haven't known, this is kind of based on the Beast Wars Megatron slash the, I, if I remember correctly, it's the Dr. Scorpion X Gigatron, uh, his build, I guess, it, I took 
bit of inspiration from it. I'm sorry if I pronounced it incorrectly. You can correct me in the comments, but whatever. But yeah, if you haven't noticed, that's what I'm taking inspiration. That's how I got inspiration for this from. So yeah. So what you want to do to make the head? You'll take this piece. Sorry that I haven't been like naming the size of all these pieces. I noticed that, but this is a size three. The armor, armor piece. And you want to take this pole, the little, little staff, and just stick it through the front little hole like that. And then just take the little one by one cone and push that there. Yeah, it's all that. So I say that because this is where I got the head idea for the from the Giga John, except this was a spear. This is just a pole. So you can go spear. <clears throat> but yeah so moving on to the rest of the body we'll take this and then we'll take this connector there's another version to where it's like this but the piece of the ball joints are going that way you want it this to where the ball joints are lined up with the pins and you'll put just pick that there like that and then you'll take this piece pick that there then take this piece and peg it here then so you'll place your first friction adapter like that and there's one shoulder then you take this piece no no first you take this piece and peg it like that then take this piece and peg it here take your second friction adapter and peg it right there so that is how these shoulders connect to the rest of the body yay then take your last two friction adders adapters whatever you want to call them like that then focusing back on it we'll take the head as Peg that on there, set that back there real quick. And then just making the chest, you want to take another chest armor, then the chest extens extension. Uh, maybe that's what it's called, I don't know, like, gives you more bulk. And then just peg that onto this ball joint. Right, do that. They have the chest nice and completed. And so to add, everything on there you want to take this piece and just peg it right there like so um, same thing on the other side like right there kind of there. just pull those down Pick that there, and then you pick this. Oh, I gotta figure out which way this goes first. Hold on, give me a second. So, okay. so if you have pegged like this, it should peg on this side. I hope not wrong. So, yeah, peg everything like that. So. I'll get this all ready to go and then we will assemble the rest of the parts. So, got them all ready up. We got a lot of pieces, so let's build Dinatron. So, we'll take the torso body and you can say hello to him with this next simple head. And just take the legs and add them to the friction adders. And it also gives him some height. You can keep it like that, but for me, so y'all can see, I'm going to do that last. But so take the dino arm and pick that there. I mean, if you wanted to, you can swap the actual orientation of these. Put this on this side, put that on that side. But if you put this here, believe that the orientation is the same, you will have a backwards dinosaur, and it won't look right. So, 
make sure you have the dino arm connected to this one and the dino tail connected to this one i mean like dino head connected to this one and the dino tail this one head here tail here i don't know i thought i kept mixing it up so i'm putting the tail on and fixing all of this or else it would be a absolute mess and i don't want that so yeah let's go and just add the legs to the friction adders and there we go dinatron is fully complete you, you can't really see this like i said before he takes out my end he is so tall i need more room so yeah there we go so that is in parts one and two of my lego transformers bionic dinatron reviews so i hope you did enjoy this two-part series i like doing these build videos so next up will most likely be my lego starscream so stay tuned for that but next yeah so stay tuned for that the rest of the construction coin videos should be out soon i just haven't recorded them because i kind of wanted to take a break because i felt like i was doing those videos a lot so i want to take a little break do another build video and We're doing another character showcase this, this weekend, so stay tuned for that as well. And as always, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.